Hi, I'm Darren Rice with Ultra Geothermal Incorporated, and uh, I'm here to basically just show you what this particular product is. Um, this is a uh, multi-circuit flow center for a closed loop geothermal application. Um, in the closed loop application, you're circulating fluid in and out of the earth through uh, a series of closed tubing, whether it's done in a horizontal field method uh, or trench method, or it's done in a vertical borehole and you insert the loops in the ground, the fluid circulates in and out of the pipes and it transfers in and out of from the ground to your heat pump through this amazing little device called a flow center. So basically what the flow center has is a series of circulators. This particular one is operating two different heat pumps. Um, on this side you will see two circulator pumps that operate one heat pump. On this side you will see, hopefully you can see, that there are two others on this side that control another heat pump. Um, sometimes the circulators are not all the same circulators, sometimes they're different circulators, just in this particular application both heat pump machines required the same style circulators and two of them on each circuit, or on each heat pump, excuse me. So, basically this flow center is what we call a non-pressurized flow center. There is other flow centers on the market that are called pressurized flow centers. Um, at Ultra Geothermal, we like to use the non-pressurized um, simply because, one, um, they are much better as far as, in our opinion, for service purposes. Um, if you ever have to make a repair, um, it's not likely that you'll ever have to purge and flush your field. Um, you can make your repair, add your fluid, and you're done. Um, so, in a pressurized flow center, the difference between that and this non-pressurized flow center is that a pressurized flow center basically has the pumps that are in a pack and there's no tank or vessel. Um, it circulates water in and out of the ground uh, and it it's pressurized from somewhere between 30 and about 50 pounds of pressure. In this particular system, there is a vessel tank. Inside here, this tank is a reservoir of fluid that stays inside here. So as your water enters into your um, flow center from your outdoor loop, it has a dip tube that goes down and into the reservoir that is submerged in fluid. Um, kind of like a drinking when you're drinking uh, out of a cup with a straw. If you have fluid in the straw and you put your finger on the top of that straw, you can pull it out and there'll be fluid inside that tube or in that straw. As long as the fluid level maintains and stays above the bottom of that dip tube, then you aren't getting anything airbound inside these systems. If you do get a little bit of air in these systems, they have self-bleeding caps on the top, so whenever the vessel gets pressurized uh, with expansion and contraction of air, um, usually above about 10 to 12 PSI, that'll allow the air to ble uh, bleed and breathe out of this cap so it helps relieve uh, expansion, contraction, and pressure. Um, we're not going to go over anything to do with maintenance on um, the non-pressurized flow centers. Um, at Ultra Geothermal, if you find that you're having a problem with your flow center, or you think you're having an issue, or you feel that you need to add fluid to it, or anything of that nature, we do not, please, I do not advise that you service these yourself. It can be dangerous. Um, you can overfill them. You can cause fluid to leak out all over the place, especially if you get any uh, air or anything of that nature. Um, they're very touchy. You, you should really keep this to a professional who knows what they're doing when it comes to servicing uh, or maintaining these. Um, you shouldn't have much in the way of any problems with these flow centers or even pressurized flow centers. Um, but again, if you feel you have an issue, please don't, do not try to uh, do any service to it or add anything to it yourself. Please call Ultra Geothermal and schedule an appointment for service.